Happy Republic Day! With Republic Day around the corner, let's brush up our knowledge about our country's history with some Republic Day facts. The Indian Constitution came into play on January 26th. Republic Day is celebrated as the constitution of the country was created on January 26, 1950. This day was picked, keeping in mind the same day in 1930 when Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the Indian National Congress head, declared the country a Poon Swaraj, which translates to complete Indian independence. This was signified by hoisting Indian flag on the bank of River Ravi. The Republic Day Parade holds immense significance. The Republic Day ceremony starts with paying tribute to the brave soldiers who sacrificed their lives for the country. The Prime Minister on January 26 offered garlands to these soldiers at Amar Jawan Jyoti at India Gate, New Delhi. Bravery awards are given to men, women and children on Republic Day. On Republic Day, brave men and women of the armed forces are awarded. Civilians too are awarded for the courage, hard work and the bravery. Also, children who have displayed immense activities of courage are awarded the National Bravery Award. On the eve of Republic Day, many national awards such as Bharat Ratan, Padma Awards and Kirti Chakra are presented. The Republic Day also celebrates the beginning of a democracy. Republic Day is also celebrated as the day starting from which India became a democratic country giving all citizens above the age of 18 the right to vote. It was at that time that citizens became entitled to their fundamental right. Indian constitution is the longest constitution in the world. When it was created, it had 395 articles, 8 schedules in 22 parts. Today, it has 448 articles, 12 schedules in 25 parts. A team led by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar took nearly 35 months to draft the entire constitution. The Indian Air Force became independent on the Republic Day. The Indian Air Force was created by the British Empire and was then called the Royal Indian Air Force. It served under the dominion of India even after India gained independence. It was only when the country became a republic on January 26, 1950 that the Indian Air Force lost the prefix Royal and became an independent entity. Subscribe to Waffle Cone YouTube channel for class-wise interactive educational videos.